Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the phosphite ion. So here we go. The uh, phosphite ion has got uh, PO3 with a, th a negative 3 charge and that's going to give us uh, 5 valence from the phosphorus plus 3 oxygens each with 6 valence electrons plus 3 more electrons for the minus 3 charge for a total of 26 valence electrons, alright? And we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is going to be 24. That leaves you with 2 electrons. Divide that by 2 gives you 1, and 24 is equal to 8 times 3. So that means this shape is going to be an AX3E1 figure, meaning where the, this 3 comes from here and this 1 comes from here. That means you have the central atom, phosphorus, surrounded by 3 peripheral atoms, each oxygen, and then there's also one non-bonding pair of electrons on the central atom, on the phosphorus, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. We've got the phosphorus in the center, surrounded by the 3 oxygens. So we can go ahead and single bond all of those, and then fill in their octets. And then we also have to add on this non-bonding pair of electrons to the phosphorus. So there we go. That should be it. Let's go ahead and uh, put in our bracket, or braces, whatever you want to call it. Because this is a negative 3 ion, you have to put the bracket around the structure. Okay. And so let's go ahead and check the formal charge to make sure that this structure is indeed correct. So let's see. The uh, formal charge on the phosphorus in the center. It's going to be the uh, five valence brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the uh, formal charge of each oxygen, since they're all the same setup, so they should all have the same formal charge. It's going to be uh, six valence electrons brought in for, for each one minus one bond for each oxygen minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons on each oxygen as well showing that's going to be a negative one and then he times that by three because there are three of those oxygens so that's going to sum up to be a minus three overall formal charge which is what we're looking for because this is a minus three charged um, ion okay and those have to match up now in terms of, of uh, shape with the AX3 E1 geometry this is going to be a uh, trigonal uh, pyramidal or uh, pyramidal however you want to pronounce it shape okay and when you have that kind of shape the bond angle is going to be approximately equal to 107 degrees all right. In terms of hybridization, looking at the phosphorus as the central atom, there's one, two, three, four electron groups or bonding sites. So you need four orbitals. So sp3 is what we're going to do there. So sp3 hybrid, 1s and 3p. So that's four orbitals for four bonding sites or electron groups. Okay. And because of this non-bonding pair of electrons, that's going to make this a uh, polar compound, a polar ion, alright? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know, and thank you for watching.